Hey everybody, so I hope everybody is good. I hope you all had a good day and a good night, depending on where you are. Okay, so there's just a few things that I want to talk about real quick. Um, first thing I want to mention is we will be doing our first giveaway this month. That is so exciting. So um, uh, Thursday, I will be putting a video out that will include all the details and all the information on the giveaway. Um, so be sure to be sure to check for that. So that's that's super cool. And then um, second thing is I just want to say that I had put a post out earlier thanking all the new new people, all the new members that joined um, the CNY family in September, and all of that. And somebody took it the wrong way. So I just want to say I want you guys to hear me say that I appreciate every single one of you. All of our subs, all of our members, everybody. Okay, you guys have helped grow this channel, and I appreciate it so much. We appreciate all of you. So let me just say that. Um, next thing is our channel over here, we are all about open discussion, right? Everybody's opinions are welcome over here. I would never kick somebody out or ban somebody or anything like that because they don't agree with me or they have a different opinion. All opinions are welcome here. I state my opinion and I always, always, always tell you guys to look at the, look at the stuff yourself, fig, you know, think about it yourselves and come up with your own conclusion. Those of you that are um, sub to the channel and have been following me, you know that. I always say that. Um, so, Again, we well we look at all different kinds of theories on this case. We've talked about all different kinds of things. So it's not been just a one-sided thing. Yes, I have always thought Sammy is involved, and I still do. In the beginning, I did not really think about... I wasn't really thinking about the mom in the beginning... But the more we went through the case and the more things come out and the more we talked, like, yeah, the I don't care. I think the mom knows a lot more than she is saying. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But that's just my opinion, right? So those of you that get mad, whatever. But I'm not going to, I don't discourage any anybody's opinion. You know what I mean? Okay. The next thing I want to talk about. <clears throat> Let's talk about the freaking petition that Squirrel Girl had started um, for AWP to get the reward money. Now, one of her parents is uh, going against that, right? They're trying to get rid of the petition. Okay, wonder who that is. I saw um, that Squirrel Girl had put out a video, but I was not able to watch it. Um, but it did say that one of the parents is going against the petition. So, go figure. Right? But if it... I, I mean, I obviously I think it's the mother. But I could be wrong. But if it's the father, then we really got a lot more to talk about, don't we? Right? So, we got, we got a lot more work to do. Um, but listen. With this case, because there's so little facts... In this case, and everybody that has come out that's claimed to be from the party or claim to know these people or claim to be attached to the family, um, they've all been full of shit. We've all caught them in lies. I mean, SF Investigates even freaking deleted his Twitter. So I'm saying, but I, I'm not saying, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? So must have got sick of people asking them hard questions. That's what I say. Now, listen. I think that anybody that is looking for the truth in this case, you, they should not be, nobody should be knocking any channel that is trying to figure this case out. I think that there's so many of us that are working on this Kylie case that are trying to figure it out, and we all think in our own ways. We all th have different ways of thinking, right? It's what makes the world a beautiful place. But... Um, so I, not but, but so nobody should be bashing any channel that is trying to find out the truth, right? If you don't ask the hard questions and you don't, um, dig and research and 
trying to find anything that you can find, then you're not really doing your job. You're not really looking for the truth, right? And that's how I feel. So if somebody is acting suspicious or doing suspicious things, then I'm going to question that person. And I have the right to do that, right? Now, if you if you see somebody that's doing something suspicious or them or they are acting suspicious, right? By the way that by the things that they're saying or the things that they're doing, then you should definitely question that person. You should definitely keep that person in your mind because there's something off about that person, right? Those that don't question that, those that just put your hand put your head in the sand and want to move on with your day. <clears throat> I don't think this is the place for you. That's all I'm saying, right? Like, obviously you're not into the true crime if you don't want to find out the truth part of it. That's all I'm saying, okay? Now, let me um, talk about this real quick. So, um, Whenever I find something, okay, like the Hirsch, okay, so if a lot of you saw this post that I put out. Now, Hirschdale Road, Truckee River RV Park, where they claim that the photoshopped picture was taken of Kylie. Um, people say that, uh, people claim that it was from there. Okay, so they're putting her there. Well, that's Hirschdale Road, right? Now, if you look at the call log of the sheet that I pulled up that's next to it, that is a call that came in. Hirschdale Road. Somebody called 911 because they reported seeing a silver Honda, a 2013 silver Honda CRV sitting next to the Hirschdale Road sign. Um, that was called in, and it, uh, CHP, I guess it said CHP was going to be dispatched to go make a search of the area. Okay. This took place on August 17th, 2022, okay? The other thing that I question, and I'm like, what is going on here, is it's the only call log on, it's the only call on that whole sheet that says scheduled event. So you tell me. When I put that, when I find something that I think is interesting or could be related to this case, I post it so you guys can all see it. I put it out there. We talk about it. That's just how it goes around here. Okay, that's how I work my channel, right? So I never put that out and said, oh, this was her car. But you know why I did put it out and I didn't just dismiss it and push it to the side just because it said August 17th? Because we have no facts. We don't know when Kylie died. We don't know when her car was uh, put into that lake. We don't know when she went missing. We don't know any of that. Don't you guys see? We don't know. So why not, if you see something that could be related, why not bring that up and talk about it? I think that's the point of all this. If you find something and it could be something, then bring that shit up. Because you know what? It could be something. Right? That's how cases get solved. That's how things happen, and that's how things get exposed. That's all I'm trying to say. So I never put it out there and said, oh, my gosh, this is a fact. I put it out there and said, well, this is crazy. What do you guys think? Right? I form my opinion. I let you guys all form your, form your own opinion after I give you the information. Okay? So I just wanted to say that. Um... That's the problem, though. We don't know anything. The mother says, the mother, I say that in such a light, a light term, right? So the mother, Miss Lindsay, says that the last time that she talked to, no, yeah, the last time she said she saw her daughter was Friday morning. Didn't report her missing until Saturday at, at 5 p.m., but yet... And so she, and then she went to the uh, Starbucks, right? But yet, Jagger got a phone call, and he was out searching at 9 a.m. So how does that work? 
How's Lindsay not reported her daughter missing, right? And she hasn't freaked out or called anybody. She's sitting at Starbucks. But somebody called Jagger and told him that Kylie was missing because he said that he was out searching for her at what? Between 8 and 9 in the morning? There's so many things, you guys, in this case that, of course, we're speculating about it. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, there is no misinformation until that, misinf until that information is debunked. Once that information is proven wrong, then it is, then and only then, is it misinformation. But nothing's getting proven to anybody for anything. That is the problem, okay? And now, let's talk about this lady real quick who calls in and is supposed to be Sammy's friend's mother who is pretty much going against what Sammy said. But this lady said that uh, the car went into the, her car went into the lake and they called 911, but the cops just never came. So she's trying to shift the blame just to on the police. So now we're pushing it over to the police, right? Which they've played their part, trust me. But, okay, so let's just keep going, right? So um, people have gone and found out, like Michelle After Dark found out that that call was bullshit and that that call was never made because no, no such call happened. So that's what I'm trying to say. Everybody that comes out, has been, you know, proven wrong. So until and only until information is proven wrong, can you say it is misinformation? None of us know when Kylie actually disappeared. Nobody, none of us, know actually what happened to her. We don't know the people that are involved. We can, we're speculating, we are taking educated guesses based off everything we have seen, but that's all we got, right? Your faith, your brain, and your logics, and your common sense. That's pretty much what we're all running off of here. So again, you know, we're all trying to work this Kylie case. I don't think any channel should be bashing any other channels, and I think, you know, eventually we'll come up, we'll, we'll get the truth, eventually. If we just keep digging and we just keep asking questions. All right. So I have a more detailed video, bigger video coming out tomorrow. So you guys, please look for that. And don't forget about the giveaway that we have coming um, this month. We're doing a giveaway and the information will be in a video coming out on Thursday. So please hit that thumbs up, you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Please think about joining the channel and becoming a member if you can. And anybody who wants to donate to the channel, there's links in the description below. We love and appreciate all of you guys. We love all the support we have gotten. You guys have been awesome. Um, and, you know, and we couldn't thank you enough, honestly. So I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, we'll try to figure this, we'll try to figure this thing out together. All right, you guys. So stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. And keep asking those hard questions. I'll see you next time.